Hi friends, our next live session for all of our AI course enrolled students is a continuation of what we have done in the last few weeks, which is Kubeflow, which is a very popular open source system by Google for machine learning ops and machine learning productionization. The live session on the 30th of May, which will start from 7 p.m. and it will be a two hour live session till 9 p.m will be conducted on our desktop app and as usual we will use the slack miscellaneous channel for the chat itself and this live session will be the part four of a four part series we've already finished three parts this is the final part so just as a quick recap in part one we have already earlier learned about the architecture of the whole cube flow system how it works within the kubernetes framework of things and what are the key components of cube flow itself right we understood the high level details in part two, we have understood how to install it, how to configure it, how to set it up both on cloud computing instances like on AWS and also on your laptops. So in part three, we understood some of the key components like the UI dashboard, how to set up notebook servers like Jupyter notebook servers and use them. And also an introduction to pipelines from a more fundamentals perspective using the domain specific language that Kubeflow uses. Now, part four is the final part where we will continue our discussion of pipelines. We will also explain what is an experiment, what is a run in, a, in, in the context of a Kubeflow pipeline. But we will also explain how to create these pipelines very easily using a tool called Kale. Right? Kale is not part of the core Kubeflow itself, but it is an additional tool that is built so as to build these pipelines very, very easily directly from notebook servers. So we'll introduce this uh, additional external tool, very popular, again, open source tool called Kale, which will help us build pipelines without worrying too much about the domain specific language that Kubeflow has. This will make it as simple as just clicking a few buttons. Next, we will also cover Katib, which is a key component of Kubeflow itself, which is used for hyperparameter search and also for the neural architecture search itself, right? In the, in, for a neural network, the architecture itself is one of the hyperparameters. So, Katib is a very simple to use tool and within the context of Kale, it's, it's just a few clicks away. Then finally, we will talk about how to serve these models using Kubeflow serving. Right? So, this will finish the, the journey that we started, which is to understand Kubeflow thoroughly, everything from the core architecture, key components. Again, in the last session, I was very happy that we discussed about how these pipelines were designed internally, right? How do you design a pipeline if you were to design it yourself, right? And why there is a there is a DSL, which is a domain specific language that Kubeflow uses to define these pipelines, right? So we will continue on the same thread, but we'll also do more hands-on stuff this week, wherein we'll actually deploy a model, we will do some hyperparameter tuning using Katib, and we'll simplify the building of pipelines using very interesting external tools like Kale. Right. So if you have not gone through the previous sessions, please go through them. Otherwise, you'll not be able to understand today's session in depth. If you have already gone through it, most likely, you know, what is a pipeline? You know, what is Katib? At least what is the purpose of Katib? What is the purpose of KF serving and things like that? Kale is a new tool that we will introduce from scratch today. It's a very simple tool, very easy to use. Okay. So see you today evening at 7 p.m. And hope this journey uh, has been fruitful for you. And I'm sure by the end of today, we all will have a good understanding of Kubeflow itself and how to use it for actual machine learning productionization in small startups as well as large corporations and how you can simplify your whole ML productionization from pipelining to serving very, very easily using these brilliant tools like Kubeflow.